Now another key feature of Kotlin is the copy function which helps you to create the duplicate of a particular data class. Okay. And you can use it to clone an object and optionally update specific properties as well. So over here, I've made the copy of the variable user. Okay. And later on, I'm also trying to manipulate the values of the properties that I'm sharing. In the first case, I'm trying to change the value to max. So the output is coming to be max and id is 1. Later on, I'm also trying to change the value of id. Instead of changing the original value of user, the copies are made and then it is used to change the value or to manipulate the values. Okay. And this approach is considered to be more safer than to modify a particular original object. Okay. And it is used when working with immutable data patterns. So this helps the entire program to work flawlessly. So if you are liking the videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. As we are coming to an end to this series, stay tuned for the last few videos as well. Thank you for watching.